Hello. Um, so after completing watching Peter Atiyah's TED Talk, um, I honestly felt a little bit hopeful for obese people because this is a very interesting idea. It's, a, it's, it's an interesting thought. And I hope that him and his team are able to figure out what exactly is going on if there is a problem. Um, I thought it was very honorable that he was able to say that we as a society should be able to right our wrongs. If we make a mistake, we should be able to fix it. We should have the courage to get the job done and figure out what's actually going on. Does society have a skewed view on obese people? Why or why not? I would say yes. Um, society's about split in half, I would say. Half the population is very judgmental and honestly it comes from our roots where we grew up what were we what were we were taught um we were taught that if you don't work out you don't eat healthy you're fat so if i see a fat person oh i know it's because they don't work out and they don't eat healthy that's not always the case um we have a lot of i mean the world has changed we have very a lot of different perspectives about this specific subject and I would like to say that this other half of society, it's showing, they're showing a lot of self-love and loving others just like you love yourself and bringing each other up. So I think that's great. Um, could obesity be a symptom of a much bigger problem and what could that problem be right now? I would say there's a social problem with social media. We're able to see everybody's lives, what they're doing, what they look like, what they wore, what, you know, we're all very connected. And for example, we're talking in class, we've been talking about eating disorders and proper nutrition, um, fitness and sports. All this gets posted on social media. We all see what everybody's doing and it can honestly bring a lot of people down. And it honestly also comes from who you're friends with. Eating disorders are alive and well. People every day feel terrible about themselves and they push themselves past their limits and they develop eating disorders and it's it's not healthy for anyone, especially if there's an underlying cause that we're unaware of yet. Reflect on what you learned and what interfered with your learning. I learned there might be another reason as to why obese people who are eating right and are exercising just can't lose weight. There might be another reason and that's really exciting because for a lot of people they work really really hard to look the way they want to and sometimes they just can't can't make it happen. And obviously Peter Atia and his team they're not gonna it's not gonna be a Hail Mary everybody gets to be skinny now um, but for the people who do have that there is something wrong. I'm hoping that he's able to help them out and fix the problem. Um, in the future, I would, or even now, I would like to look up into his work just a little bit more. Um, I want to see what he's researching and maybe, maybe I can stop just like avoiding certain like specific uh, food groups, but instead find a more balanced diet with everything.